Hey, okay, so we're going to talk about uh, how it is that you find an x and a y intercept based off of an equation. So I'm going to relate this back to the graph very quickly. And the way we relate this to the graph is, let's plot some points on the x-axis and see what our coordinates are. So I plot a point here, and I'm going to plot a point here. So I'm going to label my points. So the point that I labeled here is 1, 0. The point that I labeled here is 4, 0. I'm going to plot some negatives too. So I plot a negative here, then I get negative 3, 0. So what I want to uh, talk about here for a second is anywhere along this x-axis, when I look at this and actually plot it, I find that the pattern repeating here is 0, 0, 0. And all those zeros are in the y-coordinate. So we're going to relate this idea back to this uh, equation. And also, if I were to do that along the y-axis, what you'll find is the repeating will be not in the y, but it'll be in the x. So for the y-coordinate, any coordinate that falls on the y-axis, has an x-input value of 0. So, we're now going to relate this idea back to this equation. So, here we go. The one thing that we need to know here before we start using this equation, okay, is that if I'm going to find an x-intercept for any equation that I know, it's that y equals 0. So for any x-intercept, when you found along the x-axis there, its y-coordinate will always be 0. Meaning wherever that function passes through the x-axis, no matter where it is, the y-coordinate is always going to be 0. And for the y-intercept, it's the x-coordinate will always be equal to 0. So going on from that idea, okay, if I ever know what one coordinate is, I am more than able to input that and consider that to be my input and consider that to now create the new output. So up here I have 2x plus 3x plus 2y equals 6. So what I've got here is that I can now take those and I can input them. So here we go. For the x-intercept, I'm going to take 3 times 0, or 3x, sorry, 3x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. So again, for the x-intercept, what I'm implying here is that y is always equivalent to 0. So I'm inputting the 0 in for the y, and what that creates here is that that now is 0, so I get 3x equals 6. So here, x equals 2. So now what I have is that I've got x equals 2 when y was 0. So I need to write this as a coordinate pair because the x-intercept is the coordinate at which your function passes through the x-axis. So this x-intercept is actually 2, 0. Okay. Same idea with the y-intercept. So the y-intercept, so I'm just going to put y int to abbreviate, happens to be when I take a look at these coordinates, it's when x is 0. So when x is 0, I'm going to come up here. So this is now 3 times 0 plus 2y equals 6. Well, 3 times 0, 0. So now I'm left with 2y equals 6. Divide both sides by 2, and y equals 3. So when I go back up to my coordinates, I get 3. And that's what you do for every single one of these equations. If I ever want to figure out what the x-intercept or y-intercept is, you just need to remember that for the x-intercept, it's when your y-coordinate goes away and you're just solving for x. For the y-intercept, it's when your x-coordinate goes away. Your x-coordinate becomes 0 and you're solving for the y to find out what the y-value is when that x value is 0. So let's talk about one more, or two more equations. And the equations I'm going to talk about here, so that's how you do it. I'm going to talk about two other equations. What if I have one equation, so the first one I'm going to talk about is 3x equals 9. Well, this particular function, if I go through and solve it, I'm going to say x equals 3. Divide by 3, and I get x equals 3. Well, problem with this one is there's no y value to input. If there is never any y value to input, that means it never crosses that y-axis. So up here, okay, I have no y value to input because if I take this back into standard form, and standard form would be ax plus by equals 3. Well, what happened was is that this coefficient of b was a 0. So therefore, there is no way for me to have this so that it goes through the y-axis. 
So this particular function is said to have an x-intercept, okay? The x-intercept here happens to be at 3, 0, okay? So that will always occur where the x-intercept is okay, but there is no y-intercept because this is a vertical line. And vertical lines won't ever pass through the y-axis because they're parallel to it. So this has, then if I ask for the y-intercept, you would just simply say no y-intercept, okay? So continuing on with this idea, what happens if that wasn't an x but it was a y? So what happens if it wasn't an x but it was a y? Same idea. This would then be y equals 3, and therefore I would have a y-intercept of 0, 3, but I would not have an x-intercept, so I would say no x-intercept. So that's all on finding x and y-intercepts. It's really basically simple. It's just plugging zeros in for other coordinates and solving for the one which you want to find the intercept of. So I hope that helps.